Good, had a little scare post New York half, um, but that was four, roughly four days, um, just kind of a, a tiny little setback, but otherwise after that, like, got back on to the cycle and training's been going great and got the last little bit of uh, fitness hits and taper mode and feeling good. So you don't worry about it? Do you work with Gary Foster? No. You're still with the EAC, no. right? Did you spend any time out soon? I did not. No, I've been in Portland. Um, it's one of the things, oh. kind of like, oh, no I made that decision a little while ago. Like, I got two young boys, family. Um, it's, it's just crazy trying to do all that. Um, and I like being around the boys and being there and just, uh, you know, getting to watch them grow up and stuff. So, uh, yeah. So most of the Bobby guys track focus, you know, you're in How are you feeling about Who have you been training with? What's the load? It's feeling good. So I was um, up until New York half was with uh, Andrew Bumlow. Um, and then he kind of switched modes uh, and went uh, more towards uh, getting prepped for the outdoor track season. Um, so the last, whatever, three weeks roughly, I've just been kind of solo on my own. And it actually, I mean, it hasn't been bad at all, so. So you this field. Was always in the back of your mind? Was it was sort of something I think Boston's always been in the back of my mind as like a race that I need to do before I'm done and like competing. And I don't know how many more races I have left going. And knowing the way that the cycle comes up with the Olympic trials and the, the games and how that kind of kind of messes up the fall marathons and the spring marathons coming up next year. Like I knew where my fitness was. I knew, um, you know, what I had been trained for. I had built a lot of confidence through the training. I felt super comfortable on the roads, um, and it was just one of those things. Like it's the way I've always approached my career. Like get myself into shape, know where I'm at fitness-wise, and then we'll look at like how we want to line up the race plan and the season, and sat back and talked with Jerry and Tom and like knew um, you know my close support group and knew it was a big switch but um, knew I was ready and this is one of those races it's a, a spectacle in sport I mean it's an amazing tradition and it'll be awesome. an amazing thing to be a part of the atmosphere on Monday. Do you feel it's necessary to get I don't know if it's, I think as long as I had kept myself in a competitive atmosphere, I don't think it would have really mattered either way. Um, the, I had, I was going to go all the way through and do a full, you know, almost 16 weeks worth of marathon training. So I think sometimes like through the like the grind of marathon training like that like cycle is probably almost like more draining than like actual race day um, and could probably be said even in track and field um, so I just wanted from a racing standpoint as an athlete like I just wanted to put myself in a position to be successful and to be able to capitalize on opportunities and I think if I stepped back and looked at kind of the bigger picture like this is where I probably have the best opportunity. What's the biggest difference? Intensity. I mean, it's the thing that I miss the most about track and field. It's step one of repeats, like boom, race pace, like, and it's fast and it's really hard, and like you suffer like right from the gun. And in the marathon, like you never get intensity. It's always it's just like the grind of the miles and like just this delayed like long effect. So, um, and like it's the thing I miss the most 
from track and field, but it's also the thing that I hate the most of trying to do any of it right now. Like, it's just, it just doesn't come natural anymore. And, um, but, um, yeah, it's why like, I probably feel a lot more comfortable on the roads right now. I think there it's it's completely different. I'm just talking in terms of like um, you know if you want to like he's training guys to run 13.05 for 5k or 3.33 for 1500 or like 8.05 for steeple like when you show up to workouts to replicate that type of training like you're running, you know, 60 second pace or 60 second pace and you're doing it over and over and over again. Where like the marathon, it's, I would say no, he doesn't necessarily bring it. But you'll be doing long ass workouts and you will like your workouts minimum will be two hours of effort. And mentally like it is so draining. And doing that, like if you're doing that every, you know, whatever, a couple times a week, and like you have to just keep showing up. Like, man, another two hours, like I got to be on. Another two hours, I got to be on. Like, over a like long span of a training period, like that just wears on you. And like that's the part of the marathon. Like, you gotta. It's a mental grind, and it's totally a physical grind. And it doesn't happen from step one. It happens at mile. 18 or 19 and like okay now I'm gonna give you like the meat of the workout so that's you know that, it, they're just two completely different sports I don't know if like fitness is all that much different um, I think the way we approach training um, and building confidence off of that training I think I'm prepared for a marathon. I don't think in Chicago I was necessarily prepared for a marathon. Um, I was prepared for 20 miles. Um, so I definitely think I'm prepared for a marathon and um, I think fitness, I know I'm young at the marathon, but like I think fitness is probably like 60% of the marathon. And then there's the fueling component and then there's just like the, the mental psychological component that you play with yourself through the game and like I think that's where training comes in and like doing those really long efforts like getting yourself to be able to like deal with the, um, those negative thoughts and be able to push them away and like look at the positives and keep pushing forward run my race run my race if I run my race results have always turned out well Certainly top 10. I think if I place myself in a, that field, like, and I have, if I run my race, I would hope I have running left in my legs, and then it's like, what can I capitalize on at that point? Depends on what I use up early in the race. <laughs> so, yeah. Thank you.